Hi, and welcome back to C Programming Skills using Replit. I'm Norman McIntyre. Let's get started. So our focus on this video is the preprocessor. So let's learn about the preprocessor. So I'm still in our same project that we've been using throughout this lesson so far through the different videos. Click on Run, and of course it says Hello World C. The preprocessor. The preprocessor, anything that begins with this hash mark, goes to the preprocessor. Now, the preprocessor runs first. It goes through all of your code, and anytime it sees a hash mark, it does whatever it's asked to do. One of the most common that you'll have on every program you write is a pound include, a hash include. And what this is saying is basically include some pre-written code. Include code that has been written for you. And in fact, inside this, STDIO, that stands for Standard Input Output. So Standard Input Output dot H, dot H, the dot H is a header file. A header file. We'll learn more about the difference between a .c file and a .header file as we go through the course, but for right now just know that a .c file has your C source code and a header file has some what's called header information that we'll learn about more a little later. So the preprocessor goes through and does whatever you need to do. You can have more than one include. So for example, I could say include, oh, how about math? Let's say we're going to do some math operations and we want to include uh, the math. So, or, or maybe we're going to do some time operation and there's an uh, include file called time.h. Now again, at this point in the course, the details are not important. What is important is to know that the preprocessor goes through your, your file and anytime it sees the hash mark it does whatever it's supposed to do, which in this case includes some additional code. Now it turns out there's a number of commands you can send to the preprocessor and, and the hash include or pound include is one of the most common. Um, another one you see quite often is define. So I'll say define hello is hello world. Now, when you see pound define, it says anywhere you see this, substitute with this. All right, so anywhere you see this, substitute with this. So for example, if I come here at line number eight and I select all of this, and I put H-E-L-L-O. By the way, let me put a backslash in. We'll, go, we'll learn more about all these special characters. This is called a new line character. More to be said about that. But I want you to notice for this exercise, pound define hello. So anytime it sees hello in your code, it will substitute. So when I run this, notice it says hello world. Why? Because the preprocessor sees that you've got this defined. So when it gets to here, the preprocessor substitutes this hello for this here. And of course, we see indeed, we see the output there. So the, the preprocessor runs through your code first. Now, a very common error that when you're first starting, you'll make this error is you'll put a semicolon at the end of the preprocessor command. Well, the semicolon comes after when you're dealing with the C language, when you've got a statement that you're executing, you put a semicolon after that. So if we say printf, let me say another printf, say hello. So it by putting the semicolon at the end, when I click on run, 
notice we get a syntax error. Why? Well, let's look. Main.c, line number 8. So we go to line number 8. Error, expected a semicolon. Expected a semicolon. Well, we had, we've got it confused. Because it's, it's, if it substitutes, it actually substitutes this whole thing. Basically, it substitutes everything that follows, whatever that may be. So you don't want to put a semicolon there. This is just substituting in. So now, of course, we say hello world twice. Also, it's important that you know everything we type inside the C language is case sensitive. So hello in all uppercase is not the same as hello in all lowercase. Notice now I've got a syntax error because why? Undeclared identifier. An identifier is the name of something where it says, I don't know what this is. Now, if we had done a pound the fine and put hello in lowercase, if we, had, if we did that, that would show how it would not be. Um, right now we've got the uppercase it doesn't understand. So the convention most people use is for pound the fine, they'll put uppercase to represent this value that's being substituted. By the way, some people, you'll sometimes refer to, hear this referred to as a macro. A macro. The definition of a macro is that you'll have a name, you'll have an identifier, and it's assigned some value, and it will get substituted as you go through the code, which is exactly what's happening here. Anytime it sees hello, it puts in whatever we have here. So the nice thing about this, let's say I had a print formatted three times in a row. And I decided, well, I want to say hello world from C. The advantage of using the pound define is we define it one time right here. And notice it will repeat it three times for us. So I'll click on run. Of course, hello world from C three different times. So to summarize here, we've seen our first look at the preprocessor. There's more to come. But the hash include pulls in additional code. The hash define or pound define, you give it the name and then whatever value you want to be substituted, and it will substitute that in throughout the rest of your code. Now remember, you should be typing this in, running the demonstrations, trying everything just like I'm doing so that you have that hands-on experience. So thank you again for making it this far. It's really great to have you coming along for this amazing journey. There's more to come in the next video. I'm Norman McIntyre. Thanks as always for watching.